Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today I'm going to be showing you, and I'm going to be comparing, which is why I've got LM Studio as well, a new way that you can run a totally private, local, large language model in your browser, but unlike ChatGPT or Claude, which of course are going to external servers, this model is completely local and it actually runs in your browser. So how does this work? Well, a lot of people just think of browsers as the thing that loads web pages, but really at this point, they're more of a full-blown operating system. WebGP was originally designed to allow you to play 3D games in your browser, but it can do a lot more than that because if you have a GPU interface, you also are able to run an LLM. Now, unfortunately, the performance won't be quite as good, I imagine, because it's not going to be able to use the Tensor cores, but let's try it out. I'm not entirely sure, I haven't looked if this is using the CPU or the GPU, although I'm guessing it's going to be the GPU from being called Web GPU. So we're downloading a Q4 of the Phi 3 LLM, which is from Microsoft, which is kind of a weird company to be involved in this. But I, I think they're planning on making the Windows Copilot not phone home like I showed in the last video because people don't like that. Uh, and instead use an on-system MPU. So this is the model they've sort of built for that. Okay, just a side note, uh, apparently Chrome doesn't support uh, web GPU by default on Linux, so if you're on Linux, you have to go to this page, and you can enable this. Now, there may be bugs, so it's not 100% supported, but I think it will be alright. So we're going to try it again. And now, uh, let's see if it catches it. Weirdly, it was able to detect that Firefox doesn't support it, but because Chrome... Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so I'll skip. Let's just do something simple. Write a simple prime number finder in Python. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay, that's interesting. So it's got the, it's got one of the optimizations, but it doesn't have the other one. It doesn't have the optimization that you actually uh, can start at three because any number, and then add two because any number that divides any even number is not going to be prime. I, or I should say any, any even number will never be prime, so you can optimize it that way, but that's not really the point. So now let's just for speed comparison, let's try this in LM Studio. Uh, we're going to load this, and I've actually got the FP16 version. Okay. Now let's see what... Okay, we've got about 20 tokens a second, but let's just see if that... That's, that's running entirely on the CPU. Now let's try it on the GPU and see what that does. Oh, we run out of... Okay, let's get the Q4 just for a fairer comparison. Because I wasn't sure which one it used. Basically, the Q in these LLMs is the quantization. Simple way of thinking about it is every parameter will use the number shown here. There's eight bits in a byte. So if it's eight, the number of parameters is the number of bytes. If it's 16, it's double. If it's 32, which you're probably not going to see these days, it's quadruple. Uh, if it's four, it's half. If it's two, it's a quarter, but you probably shouldn't use a two bit. It's not going to give very good result. Okay, so we've downloaded it. And now let's see what LM Studio can do. Wow, that is going fast. It's 100 tokens a second on the GPU. Now, just for comparison, let's try this again on the CPU. 30 tokens a second. Okay. So it's about it's a meaningful performance hit, but if you just want to do this quickly in your browser, it's kind of cool. And it does save the model, so if you refresh it, then you can just instantly load the model. And we're good to go. And Now, one final thing I'm going to show, and unfortunately, this is not as great privacy-wise, but if you're into local or, like, open LLMs and you like speed, this is called Grok. Not to be confused with Elon Musk's Grok. Okay, I'll have to... You will have to make an account, but it's free, and you can just log in with a Google account. And then we can ask again, and we can use either of these models. Llama 8B is a similar capability to Phi, 
70 is mind blowing. This is this pretty much the same as GPT-4, except it is way faster, open source, and can be run locally. Wow, there you go. There, there's some speed. Oh, and it's still doing the square root optimization. Okay, so it's written a pretty good one. Now just throw it a challenge. Uh, let's see if it can if it can pull this off in uh, Rust. Do it in Rust. Now I'm just going to quickly uh, feed that to a compiler just to triple check that that really works. Can I go new prime Rust CD prime Rust. CD source. Oh, yeah, I'm in input mode, of course. Yep. It's, yep, that's a perfectly valid approach. You can get a better performance uh, by replacing the vector with a bitmap, but it's got time for that. So I think that's that's all for this uh, quick look at uh, local AI. I've shown a few ways. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you have any any opinions, any any models you like, don't like.